Well, right now, Georgia voters are deciding who will take two final Senate seats, a race that really could determine the balance of power. But now Republican activist groups are pushing voter challenges that some say is an attempt at voter suppression. As we take you beyond the ballot tonight, on your side's Tory Kless with the groups arguing for and against the challenge. Before the Glynn County Board of Elections made their decision, there was a little bit of a heated exchange on both sides of the aisle about this debate of challenging the voter rolls of 262 people living here in Glynn County. The national group Black Voters Matter bringing its tour to Brunswick. Their goal to engage voters before the U.S. Senate runoff in January. Cliff Albright, one of the group's founders, says they had another goal after learning a voter challenge was brought before the local board of elections. Albright says his group, along with the NAACP, asked the board to not consider the challenge. Any type of purging is unacceptable, especially two weeks before a major election. Albright's group asked questions to state representative Jeff Jones during the election board's executive session. The board eventually voted two to one to not accept the challenge. The opposing group's claim is the challenge was a form of voter suppression against black voters, which Jones denies. So this, this group, I'm afraid, has taken the challenge for probable cause beyond the bounds of what it was intended or the data that was even provided. He says the request to review more than 200 voters addresses in Glynn County should have been approved. He says he wants the voting system to be cleaned to avoid what he claims is a problem. Troy Kless, First Coast News on your side.